Hello, hello, hello. Hello, my friends. Two streams today. That's right. A double. A duel. The second one. El Segundo. Los Angeles International Airport. Just kidding. Um, yeah, so we back. How much is a bower? Um, I have no idea. You should ask r slash mechmarket. I believe they cost quite a bit though. Raz, 1023, 10 peaches, Mickballs, hello, hello. Key Zero Mech, Penguin, hey, Pengu, what's up? Good to see you, Pengu. One drunk man. Yeah, two drunk man. Just kidding. Nixie T, Nine Walker, Virolito, hello. Seabus, Medical Whale, Jake Reps. Too much? <laughs> really? Wow, look at this right as I get home. That's right. Obsidian was raiding me now. Get it? Just kidding. Uh, two streams in one day? Yeah, Voldy, that's right. <laughs> you, Pengo, is here. That is so nice. Yeah, we built that earlier today. This is what we built earlier today. We built uh, Key Cult number 2, Revision 1. <laughs> Davis the Great. You're plowing through the builds, bro. You know, you gotta... You know, if I'm gonna get to other ones, I need to I need to get through these. Uh, I, I also rested last... I mean, like, I didn't do any builds last week, so I'm trying to make up for that. I'm trying to get back into a schedule and also pump him out when I do have the free time, because uh, I don't have this kind of luxury often. And so it's a, it, it would be a good thing to just get through it. Um, at least that's my belief. But yeah. Also, hmm. Kind of strange that my chat box is like not showing more than a few lines of text. I, I think it's really weird. I have a feeling it has to do with my dashboard acting up. So like, so I'm, I'm using slobs like uh, Streamlabs OBS and sometimes the the widget the little widgets are kind of whack um like i see chat box here is showing like maybe like five messages but it, it doesn't quite scroll up all the way hey atticus what's up does it ping i mean i hear it here but i'm sure you don't hear it anymore <laughs> We all know he's pumping out streams to get partner. That's right, yeehaw partner. I mean, um, it would be good to get um, to get partner, but at the same time, um, doing a lot of streams is important. But I also need to average a high number of viewers, so it's actually hard to do. Uh, I mean, by high number, I really mean more than the usual, and so that's. Uh, it's I have to admit it's 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 not easy. So Hey Raz, thank you so much for the one dollar tip. We're not good enough? Well it's uh see what Pengu said, eighty viewers average and you have to stream twelve times a month and even during the application process you're supposed to uh you're supposed to keep going. Also, why is the lighting so weak today? Let me adjust that a little. So this is the um, Tempest key puller that I just got from New Zealand. Um, has a copper mi uh, mid with a Juma um, like scale kind of look uh, in a verdigris color. Uh, very, very cool. Very nice, very premium, super nice. New Zealand, this guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so there's a, his name is a Tempest. Uh, he makes keycap pullers. Uh, he will be, um, so he won't be selling these directly. Uh, these will be sold through um, keyboardtreehouse.com, which is a uh, vendor. It's actually a collective of artists and makers. Um, selling keyboard related goods in um, in Australia so uh, let me let me post the uh, that's Tempest 
Um, actually, I'm, I might just uh, draft up a quick command for it uh, because I figure that people are going to ask about the puller. Um, I probably should, uh, you know, um, promote Mr. Tempest because uh, he was very kind in uh, sending a unit before um, before he had to send them out to uh, um, over over to. I like your glasses, kind of dink. Fuck you. <laughs> Thank you. Akrak, hey, what's up? Um, but yeah, uh, so just, uh, I wanted to, um... You were not only hustling with more streams, but modding himself as well. Uh, I normally wear, um... Glasses, at, especially like at night, because I my eyes actually do get tired very quickly. Uh, wait, where is the, um, hmm. How odd. I'm trying to find a feature with uh, my chat box, but for some reason it's not quite... Uh, how strange. Oh well. Yeah, I can't quite find the um, setting I wanted to find. Anyway, no regard. Let's try to... The command in place. That's right. Tempest keycap pullers. Um, so new command. I'll say keycap. No. Uh, key puller. Key puller. Key puller. And say lightnings. Uh, per degree keycap puller was made by Tempest. A an artisan maker based in New Zealand. Check out his Instagram. Um, and then check out his Instagram. Um, uh, his puller, his keycap oh, artisan keycap pullers will be sold through keyboard treehouse through keyboard treehouse.com soon tm activate and uh, do, do, do. um let's see polar Oopsie. Let's see. Activate command. All right. Should be active. So key puller. Hey, there we go. Nice. All right. Um. So the commands should be active now. There, there is a bit. There is a. Like cooldown, I actually rem let me remove the cooldown on it. Something shorter. There we go. Okay. Um. So, springs two or just yellow stems? Wait, what was that? Uh, I have to say, Jack Reps, I did it. It Intelius. Oh, never mind. Something else. Um. Wow, purple. Yeah, so this is Jim K. Bingsu. And Akra, thank you for the hydrate. Um, I have some water here. Number two, looking good. Um, yeah, super nice board. I have to, I have to say, I, I was uh, very surprised. Um, pleasantly surprised, actually. I, I actually really like, um, this number two. Like, it's, it's spectacular. It types really nicely. The compression of the gaskets is pretty optimal, um, and um, it just feels really good uh, to type with. Even if it's a brass plate with linears, it types really nicely. Um, I it makes me want one, <laughs> but I would only buy one uh, like for retail. So I'll just wait for the next run uh, of TKLs. 
So, yeah. Alrighty. Ugh. How do you like that switch combo? Uh, it types uh, super nicely, actually. It's very smooth. I mean, it, it's pretty much just like a Telio. 63.5 gram spring sounds... It's excellent uh, weight-wise for me. So I, I do like it quite a lot. Yeah, and Akrak, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Nani, two stream in one day? That's right. Two stream in one day. So sad I missed out on Bingsu. Yeah. I believe there will be some extras. Uh, Mr. 159 from Project Keyboard uh, said, uh, don't ask me when exactly or how many, but there will be um, extras um, in the near future. <laughs> Mr. Chongsaurus. The fastest man, oh, the fastest man on the earth. Thank you so much. Mr. Chongasaurus for the tier 1 sub. Welcome back for four months. So here we have our Dixie McBower. Um, I left right as you were debugging what ended up happening with the number 2. Oh, I see. Um, so I ended up uh, doing all the switches just fine. And then um, the debugging thing was basically just on via only. Like the alt key was acting up only like showing up like that on via but it was really just actuating right alt so there was no issue actually there was no like actual issue i think it just has to do with the way via detects the um keyboards uh id um neron tor uh thank you so much for the twitch prime sub and um what was that? I, I got things too, but didn't get Korean alphas? Ah, oh, Mr. Chongasaurus, how could you not get Korean alphas? Alternate alphas? I, I, I live for alternate alpha stuff. I, I, I love sub legends. Um, yeah. Can you drop test this one as well? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to know how much I would have to pay for that. But I can I can I can do something fun. I can I can uh, but I have to celebrate that with the build today. Okay, well you know it's a nice board, right? Nice nice little board. I consent for Linus. Okay. So shaky, <laughs> so shaky. I did it for Linus. I did it for the Mister Mister Tech Tips, Mister Tech Tips, and we will have a reprise in a bit. <laughs> it hurt me a bit. <laughs> I mean, uh, so I mean. Look, look how safe it is. Look, look, the, look at the safety of this desk. You must understand. You must understand this. Safety. Safety measures. <laughs> fun times, fun times. What color pipe key do you usually go for? Same color as alphas? Pipe key is always an alpha. Pipe key is an alpha. Pipe key is an alpha. Never put the modifier. Never. I've done it a couple of times. I actually do have a board with a modifier pipe, but it's I I didn't like the look of the 75% with a compressed layout like that. So I just tried it, but never bothered to replace it. But I normally never go for um that. Uh for a modifier key. That's toxic. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get EPVT Night Market because it'll have Thai Legends. Uh, that sounds exciting. I hope that the person doing the legend. So, the thing about sub legends is that the the original files, the actual design needs to like the vector files need to be done very nicely. Otherwise, it won't translate to a good die sub. It starts from there. You know, that's the primary source. Um. 
<laughs> I think it's only 10,000 bits. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Singapore, what's up, man? Cobalt Squee, hello. Pengu, you don't, you're not sending me anything? What about the chair? Wait, Pengu, what about the chair? We talked about the chair. Well, we haven't talked about the chair. But we said we were going to talk about the chair. <laughs> I can't drop chairs like that. <laughs> Look, can you hear that back pedaling in the back? Here, here somewhere in here. I want to see Diego eat a tray. Yeah, that's right. You, you do have to donate bits for, it, for me eating a tray, unfortunately. You think I'm made out of money? SMH, what a protected table. You got MMA mats as a desk, man. <laughs> Pipe until they're not mods, that's right. If it inputs a character, it's alpha color. That's correct. What happens if you have no other choice and have to choose mod color? Then, I mean, if you have to choose mod color, I mean, fine. But, <laughs> how about this? How about if it has to be mod color, just put the actual pipe key key map on the function layer underneath an alpha and remap that modifier color key for another modifier like win or backspace or something <laughs> that's not bad right pengu giving out chairs now no one said anything uh, yeah, yeah. The question is, will the silverfish eat the trays before Diego? Ho, ho, that, no, don't, don't talk about silverfish in front of me. I hate that. I hate those things. Uh, don't buy the set if you have to choose. It's not worth buying. <laughs> the community goal to eat a tray? <laughs> Wait, community goal to eat a tray? That's free, man. That's free. No. <laughs> we had, uh, 1501 at 2,000 bits earlier for eating a tray. That is true. That is true. Does it reset every stream though? That's the real question. All right. We got our Dixie Mech Bower. We we can listen to the Bower song if you guys want, or uh, to 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 uh, Dixie's rendition of Old Town because <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Um, do, uh, anyway, yeah. If you have silverfish eating your GMK trays, chances are you already has silverfish, yes. So, um, as you can see, so something kind of cool, okay? Dixie, Dixie's box has a bower shape. So that's kind of neat. It says bower at the bottom. Bower here. It's covered with lots of bower and Dixie logos. Ooh, look at that. Look at this. Look at this. It's a perfect keyboard cover. It fits perfectly. It's like a dust cover. Oops. Okay, no, okay, never mind. It's not perfect. It's near perfect. Near perfect. I want Bawa 2. So here's our uh, Whale Bay PCB. WT65. With a. Uh, so I did some work on this actually before stream. Um, the reason being that uh, this was actually soldered. It was not soldered the way you guys would think. This guy was soldered with um, Milmax sockets. Desoldering those was hard. But I learned some tricks. And I picked up the pace and managed to desolder those pretty easily after after a while. It took me like a good 20 of them for me to get the hang of it, but some screws. How did the NCR keyboard turn out? Man, the NCR keyboard's awesome. Uh, I was, um, I, I can get the case in a bit, but yeah. I'll, I'll get the case in a bit. And I, I put the keycaps separately because I was washing them. Um, all right, so we have a card that says Bauer date GCC personal config and then uh, all of uh, Dixie's socials 
Thank you so much for purchasing one of our keyboard designs. We hope this keyboard will bring you the same joy and satisfaction it brought us during the design process and bring it to market. Thank you for supporting us and helping us grow our vision as a company. Mr. and Mrs. Dixie. It's kind of cool. Um, it's a little bit textured, as you can see. So the X is a little bit textured. There. Build guide. Oh, hey. I might use that. Uh, build guide. Need help with building your bower? No problem. We have created a simple guide to help you every step of the way. You can access the build guide at blah, blah, blah. Programmable with Via. Do not over tighten the screws, etc. Uh, I will definitely use that. Oh, did I? Hold up. Is the command correct for today's stream? I, uh... Ah, never mind. It is. Okay, so we have a, um, what I imagine is two different plates here. Uh, one of them is a, um... I think it's a Cerakoted aluminum plate here. Yeah, I think this is a Cerakoted aluminum plate from the heft and the color. Uh, I don't think you can get this, like, Robin's Egg hue sort of, um without seracoding <laughs> aluminum that's right aluminium aluminium like the rest of the world says it aluminum anyway and uh, we have our um, palm plate palm plate um, oh hey 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 uh, I'm excited for something okay just, just notice something, but I'm excited. Okay, there's nothing here. So, piece of paper, and then there's two holes here to hold this. And pull it out. Da da da, da da da. Okay, is it screwed on? So I'm not sure about that. So I'm just gonna take it off like this. Okay, it's not. So just gotta be careful. Oh, Mr. Gato is not on. I should turn on Mr. Gato. Mr. Gatito. Mr. Creo que vi un lindo gatito. Here we go. Mr. Gato is now on and ready to go. And, uh... Oh, wait. I'll need those screws. Stock alloy plate was Cerakoted? Yeah, I'm not surprised. I believe most of the boards had Cerakoted of some form, so that makes sense. Okay, so here is the case. It's a nice uh, Cerakoted gray color with a... Uh, I see, so that's what GCC was, this gray cyan cyan. So it has a nice gray. Yes, I wear contacts, Mr. Kimchi Jody Boy. I take them off when it's nighttime because it tires my eyes to not do so. And a nice Cerakoted uh, cyan bottom piece. As you can see, the, I, the, the unique part of the bower is that it has this uh, curve, curvature to the front, to the top piece. Um, and so it will um, show the accent piece. Not so much from the side, uh, it's perfectly covered. And yep. And so let's I'll just undo this top. Um, so it has uh, uh, basically five long strips of gaskets. Actually, come on, focus now. Five long strips, so you can see three at the top, around the screws, and two at the bottom. And the bottom piece, which is also pretty light. So because this doesn't have a weight, uh, it, uh, it does not weigh very much. Um, it has, I mean, the cask is not applied completely evenly, but it's still fine. Um, it has one, two, three, four, five, six gasket pieces. A uh, place for the daughter board, as well as the engraved Bower logo. So that's the Bower. Light keyboard, uh, pretty nice and compact. 
65%. So let us actually put these away first. Okay. Um, is this a never before built on Bauer? Uh, no, Valdi. Uh, it was built with uh, Milmax sockets, and I, uh, I did, I, I had to desolder them. Uh, that was quite a bit of work, <laughs> but uh, it was done because Milmax sockets kind of suck. Um, two reasons. Number one, Milmax sockets don't fit every PCB. Number two, Milmax sockets. Uh, they're like little holes, right? They're like little sockets. So you technically solder those. And so when you solder those, you can accidentally put some solder in there. You can also kind of like overheat it and screw it up. There's many issues with them that I personally, if someone says, Hey, do you think you could do a hot swap version of this PCB by Milmax socketing? I'm like, I personally don't recommend it. I don't recommend you do so. Uh, but if you insist and well, you'll pay me for my time. I can, uh, but I do not recommend it personally. That's from my experience, though. Um, some people say like, "Oh, it's totally fine," but yeah, not for me. Does it match Dolch? It would match um, that Bauer would match uh, modern Dolch. They're made to match modern Dolch. Is a Bauer build gonna? Is a Bauer getting an R2? Uh, the Bauer is indeed getting an R2, so you just go to dixiemech.com slash Bauer2 or something like that. Uh, but you should be able to find it on their um, website. Uh, there is uh, like uh, changes in the designs or a page for it. I just want HMKB. Uh, is HMKB, oh yeah, heavy metal keyboards. That's the plastic Schnittstell. Schnittstell is doing those, right? I, I do have an SKB60 which is stuck at work thanks to coronavirus but uh it's it's there it's there it's in the office <laughs> along with um is this plate made for co coaster stabs no 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 this is not for coaster stabs but you can use coaster stabs anytime you know that right if if you can mount it you t you could technically use coaster stabs but no it's not this shouldn't support coaster stabs Bauer is one of my all-time favorite boards. Super happy with mine. That's good to hear. Um, I mean, there there are a lot of uh, happy owners for it. So let me open that build guide, shall we? Uh, wait a sec. All right. So Bauer.dixiemag.com. Nice. Bauer. Cool. View online. Let's check out that uh, build guide. Just in case. Just in case I... So steps. Cool. Switches through both things. Breakout PCB. Cool beans. Assembly. Okay. Flip over until safe surface. Tighten the screws in the order below. That's just basically crisscross until you feel pressure. Push down on the bottom housing as you tighten each screw to relieve the pressure. Fully tighten each screw a few turns at a time in the order below until you feel resistance. And do not over tighten keycaps and you're done. Okay, okay. So so the, the build guide is just uh, nice, nice pictures and good info for um, relative newbies to building. But this should be the same as any other build. So let's keep going. Um, so let's test our PCB first. That's the number one step. So for me at least, I'll always test the PCB even if I tested it before, if I can, because you never know when you might screw up. Coasters don't fit on any of the plates I have. I mean, coasters, uh, I mean, they're, aren't they mostly made to be basically plate mount? I don't remember anymore. I, it's been like, it's been a long time since I've 
never even seen a coaster staff. Okay. Let me actually... Oh, shit. That's right. Let me do this. Let me use this cable for the board, and then I'm just gonna undo this one for now. And, uh, we can use this to test this guy. Yo, cruise control. Hello. Hello, cruise control. Hello, friends. Um, welcome. Thank you so much for the raid, cruise control. How are you doing? Mr. Josh, how are you doing? Hey, lightning keyboards. Do you recommend Crytox 205 for tactile switches? No, I don't. They're a little bit too... Well, generally I don't. Uh, they're, they're a little bit too... Cartox 205 is a little bit too thick for my own preference. I think I would default to 3204 or lighter, but uh, I don't lube the front legs is something that I don't do with uh, tactiles because I don't want to kill the tactility of it. But hey, Josh, um, not bad. Battle of the Joshes. First time streaming in like half a year. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, thanks, man. Um, doing well, doing well. As you can see, we have some cruise control action here. This is uh, my cable made by Mr. Josh Cru of Cruise Control Cables. Has a YC8 connector and a USB mini. Been using it pretty well. Oh, except right now I'm using USB-C keyboards, so yeah. But I use USB-B quite a lot, um, so hence the cable. Uh, let's see, WT65B is what I want. I'm just gonna flash a brand new um, hex file. Mollycoat HP300. What was that? What's Mollycoat HP300 again? Did I miss something? Um, anyway, where's my QMK toolbox, eh? There it is. Doo -doo -doo. Um, okay, there it is. Flash. Another fluorinated lubricant we had at work, and I tried it, and it feels pretty good. Oh, I see. Makes sense. That's cool. Um, kind of want to try new things, but at the same time, I like what I have. <laughs> That's great, though. It's good to hear that it's a solution that's viable. Let's see now. Okay, so the uh, should have detected it. It did, and um, we are building this uh, with uh, split backspace because it's a fixed plate. So the layout, I should change it to split backspace. And man, some party people out there. Um, change that to tilde. That's cool. That's all right. Um, Yep, okay. Um, and, uh. Oh, that's alright. Let's see. Key tester. Uh, test matrix. Alrighty, let's test it out. When I first saw the Dolch CR board on Billy, 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 I was like, I must share with you. <laughs> Although I have no con no connection in the China scene to get the board, though, feels bad. Yeah, I'm, um, I have to say I'm kind of curious. Wait, did this not trigger? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. 
Um, I must say that I'm kind of curious about what it's going to be like. Um, I mean, I do hope they open up uh, an interest check on Geek Hack or something, but I'm not sure, right? I mean, doing international buys right now comes at a risk, actually. Oh, wait, this one didn't trigger either. There it is. Uh, with shipping being so expensive and uh, things stifling the manufacturing timeline, I could see how it's inconvenient. Not to mention, currency exchange is and taxes and all that kind of stuff is just painful to deal with. So, I understand that the uh, the hesitation and reluctance to to do anything with um, Western keyboard group buys because people in the West are quite demanding too, you know. Rad eats. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Amazing, it all works good. So I did a decent job desoldering these, I guess. Not to pat myself on the back, but it's it's good that it works, because uh, desoldering can be risky. Especially sockets like that, because they're like really stuck to your pads on the inside. So like when you rip it out, like I mean when you like take it out, it can rip out the inside part of the the um the inside part of the pad, and that's bad because that means the solder is not going to flow in there. Yeah. Bunch of Karens. <laughs> Bunch of Karens. Desoldering is the worst, even with the best tools. Yeah, I agree. It's always a risk. It's just an extra hassle. Okay, I was like, where's my stabs with them? They're here. Okay, good. So today we have um, some Durox stabilizers here, uh, and more importantly we have some, uh, oh wait, VA is in the way, sorry about that. Um, we have some Gateron ink switches here with uh, 63.5 springs, slow springs uh, is what I got as uh, info. Um, 63.5 slow and 205 grade zero with uh, white TX films. Um, so. Fun times. Let's get on to our first part of the stream as usual, which is stabs. So, ah, uh, feels good, man. Um, the greatest part about split backspace is not having to do another stab. I love it. So there's one part. Yeah, doing fewer stabs is always nice. Uh, let's see. Two, four, oh wait, that's all I needed. Never mind. Uh... Okay. Oh wait, I need a uh, one more housing. There we go. Fewer steps to do. Very nice, too. I should uh. I desoldered my first board um Friday night. Didn't think it was that bad. It's not too bad. Um, with the right tools, uh, but even considering that, the thing about desoldering is that you're applying high, a lot of heat, and so when you apply a lot of heat to things, you never know when they might fail. That's that's all. It's not. It's it's really not that it's that bad. It's just just another risk you take every time you do it. It's a slow slow chance, like a one to three percent chance.
Um, but yeah. Hmm. Let me see. PayPal's been giving vendors a lot of problems for international group buys. Yeah, so PayPal PayPal is not good for group buys, just FYI. If you are any if you're involved in any kind of business, guys, and you're planning to sell any product that is gonna have longer than a 20 day timeline. So like meaning that from the day of the order, from the day of the payment until the day of shipment, if it's longer than 20 days, don't use PayPal. Okay? Just, just FYI, don't use PayPal because um, first of all, any refunds or cancellations, PayPal keeps the fee. Number two, uh, PayPal can actually like basically if they dispute the transaction, like the like the customer or whatever, uh, you automatically lose because the terms and conditions don't allow for over 20 days for any order. Like you must fulfill an order within 20 days. Uh, so, so basically, bottom line is PayPal is evil, sort of. Uh, they don't support um, like a pre-order style of things when it's longer than like three weeks, and um, you shouldn't risk it. Like you, if you're a business, uh, you risk losing a lot of money from fees and uh, and like losing disputes and things like that. So they'll freeze your money too, by the way. So. Uh, this is why a lot of vendors are dropping PayPal as a payment processor, um, especially for any group buys or any anything like that. Especially like in our keyboard community, where like we depend on these long group buys and pre-orders. Went to these order board out of a vintage laptop. They had six pins per switch. They must have diodes then wasn't here for the beginning did you have milmax in this board beforehand yes it did uh it, so it was off stream it was off stream i desoldered them off stream is that space bar on the keyboard above tilted um it's a stabilizer it's so like there's so look at this there's a little bit of tilting like basically the stabilizer uh you know the inserts right like the little stem inserts there's a little bit of wiggle room for them and that's in every stab though, like Cherry, Zeal, Duroc, doesn't matter. There's always a little bit of wiggle room, and so that will uh, make it look a little off. So we just check that, yeah. Coaster doesn't do that. <laughs> true that, true that. I just hydrate it, uh, thank you. Um, but yeah. Would Ergo Tactile Grays be the same as Ergo Clears, more or less? Yeah, uh, I believe Ergo Gray, Ergo, I mean, Tactile Grays might be a little bit more scratchy by default, but yeah. PayPal holds are crazy. Yeah, 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 don't. It's just, yeah, it's just a... Sorry, loud cars outside New York City, you know? Um, Where's the lube? Here it is. Yo, 159, what's up, man? How are you doing? Just ran into an issue where USPS was not scanning my packages, and so PayPal was holding my money. Oh, yeah, scans. That stuff matters, too, because if you... So, you know, in invoices, you can determine whether it's a good or service. You can determine what is it, whether it's a deliverable item or not, and such, so on and so forth on... Uh, on like the invoice features on PayPal. If you say it's a deliverable item and um, you like it has to have a tracking number associated with it. Uh, if you say you ship but you don't have like and you didn't provide the tracking number, PayPal can hold you accountable for it as well. So overall PayPal's terms and conditions are just very rough. Like they're very strict. Uh, so it's, it's tough. Is this the first bower you have built? Yes, this is the first bower I'm building. Yes, this is the first Bauer. Whoa, crazy, you can still hear cars from a Manhattan penthouse suite. 
<laughs> I live on the first floor, thank you. <laughs> I live right next to the street. <laughs> So yeah, I, I hear all the loud cars all the time. The higher, the louder. You guys are hilarious. No RTX voice. <laughs> yeah, no RTX voice. I'm sorry. I, I have a 1070 on my uh, machine. And, uh, yeah, my... Oh, I never added my uh, PC parts command, huh? I could do that now. I should do that. Oh, my PC parts command. I posted my PC parts list er, in the stream earlier, but I didn't do it this time. I'll just call it PC part... Uh... Parts list, maybe just that. Parts list. And then PC part. Or PC part picker is what I should call it, rather. Because it's the same as the website. PC part picker. This is Lightning's PC specs. Cool. You can give that a try. Um, works with my 1070. I feel that though my PC is ancient. Yeah, I mean I could use it, but I mean like whatever. I don't. I don't. Really, I don't really care for it. That's what I should say. It's really not bad. And our NTVH, I hear the fan over the other stuff. I know that the fan is uh, louder because it's basically right next to me. So that I'm not surprised about. The fan is literally like next to me because it gets really warm. And the AC is even worse. The AC is pretty loud. I mean, loud relative to, to other things around me. I just desoldered my... F Wait. Diego, is there a reason for upgrade RTX voice? Uh... <laughs> True. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Live with it. Some noise is fine. It will help you sleep. Resident sleeper. You know, some white noise. You know? It's like, it's like when people say you can focus better at a coffee shop because there's like background noise instead of in a library where it's too quiet. I actually am like that. I actually can't focus in a library because it's way too quiet for me. I need some of that background noise to help me focus. I actually, like, if I'm studying or if I'm doing work, I actually, like, blast music in my head, like, all my headphones, so yeah. But that's just me. Like, I know that people are like, what the hell? What's wrong with you? I need absolute silence. I mean, to each their own, though. <laughs> Got you, sleeper. <laughs> you should be studying LOL. You prefer brown noise? I should I be studying? First, for, first floor New Yorker, by the way. <laughs> he says that because he's a New Yorker. <laughs> I haven't lived here that long, but... I guess at this point, technically, I've lived in New York. Uh, in a, like, between different United States, like, cities and towns and stuff. I've lived in New York longer than in other places. I, let me think about it. I lived here in 2014 through 2016, and then came back later so I've been living here like now about five years total like as of now I've lived about exactly five years in New York City uh, although they were split because uh, I moved down to the DC area for, for a bit noise of MX Browns 
<laughs> That's toxic. I mean, browns are nice, okay? Uh, smooth ones, anyway. I like smooth MX Browns. Dumpster Diner doesn't know because he's too used to Dumpster Diners. They don't have the fine, refined goodness of a smooth MX Brown. No such thing. No such thing, sir. I'm the one over 100 that likes them. And Razor Oranges. I heard razor oranges are actually not uh, not not too bad. I I actually heard from somebody who was who was like, I think I think whose opinion I could respect have say that the razor orange switches were not bad when he tried them with like lube and stuff. And I was like, huh, that's cool, that's interesting, to say the least. I just desoldered browns on Friday. They're sitting in a bowl in front of me. Uh, I see. You're just trying to troll. Toxic. took them with a Black Widow light. At the end of the day, they're just TTC browns, more or less, but better, a little better, I guess. I see. I have to be honest, I don't know my gamer searches too well. Because I didn't try them all before. Switches. <laughs> I came to my hometown in Mexico. Where's your hometown in Mexico? And I brought my Ant Pro 2 will jailhouse razor greens and they honestly feel really good, but scratch is hell, I see. Unfortunate about the scratchiness, but Ojuelos de Jalisco, in between Jalisco, Zacatecas, and Guanajuato. Oh, that's interesting. I lived in, uh, I was born in Guadalajara, and I lived in León quite a long time, by the way. I lived in Mexico City and León quite a bit, quite a long while. Wow, buen español? Yeah, yeah. I, I I mean I was I was born in Mexico. <laughs> I was born and raised there. So Spanish is my first language. Hey Lightning, just wanted to let you know man, you have some really good vibes, bro. Love the streams. Thank you, thank you. Review for the tube. Always so eager and enthusiastic. Thank you. 
Dave is a great lightning is a traveled cultured man not that much I just happen to have been born under a certain family with uh, that was very nomadic <laughs> we were at well, I actually grew up very poor uh, so travel was not in the agenda for a long long time it was more like travel because there's no other option <laughs> Uh, Bonar, um, do you want a razor orange? I took a bunch out so to send a few to Theremin Goat if you want some. Um, it's okay. I, I don't really have too much use for singular switches just because I pretty much don't really form a very good sense of reference if I don't have a full board to try. So I, it's okay. Don't, don't, you don't have to do it. Thank you though. I appreciate it. Leon Guanajuato, that's like an hour and a half away. Yeah, uh, so that's like, huh, that's not bad. An hour and a half from Leon is like, what? I mean, like Irapuato was like, no, 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 I mean, like, uh, like San Francisco Rincon, like San Pancho was like an hour away, so. That's pretty close, actually. But yeah, I, I lived in. ¿Sabes de algún buen kit que incluya la ñ? Um, jamón. <laughs> it's the only one. Or, oh, 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 oh. Uh, GMK909 with the international kit. Or GMK white on black and then you need to get the Nord UK kit or whatever. It might have ñ, but I'm not sure. Y you would have to look. Tendrías que buscar. GMK white and black or GMK 909 with international kit. Did you play Final Fantasy 11? Uh, I didn't, no. Oh, I see what you mean. Is this because of the lightning character? Uh, in in Final Fantasy? Uh, is it 11 though? It was net 13. Feels Batman. Oh, nice. I'll check. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember, um, uh, Cobal. Like, I, I really don't remember if there was uh, any. It says Lightning XI below? Oh, I see. No, so, uh, Lightning XI, the name was because I used to do track and field, and, uh, 11 second, I had broken the 11 second mark for a hundred meters so uh, my coach would call me like little lightning and so that's kind of like where the history of the nickname kind of is from and I just liked it when I start was like starting from whenever I start using it and then I just stuck with it been using it for quite a few years now although on twitch it was it used to be like Miago 11, which is a different one. But that's because Twitch I basically made separately. I wasn't very consistent with my username usage across the internet. So you actually can't find me everywhere with just Lightning XI. Like it might just not be me. Even if someone has something registered under it. But yeah. Wow, sub 11? Props, thank you. Yeah, this was uh, a long time ago, back when um, I used to do track pretty seriously. Hey, Mr. Clavier. Hello, welcome. Welcome, Clavier and 39 people. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. 
How do you feel about lubing springs using the donut dip method? Uh, I'm not, uh, I don't like it. Uh, I pretty much only, I just use a tub. Look, this is the way I lube springs. Um, I have a, I actually have a tub here that I haven't finished with it, but. Wait, weren't you live earlier today? I was. I'm doing a second build today. So inside you can see that there's oil. So I just put a bunch of oil and a bunch of springs. Close it and shake it up. That's it. That's how I loop my springs. And then just pull them out with a tweezer. You like plastic container or plastic bag? Uh, plastic container is easier. It's easier to clean. It's easier to work with. But, I mean, if I don't have a plastic container, a bag is the same thing. It, it really doesn't make a difference. The whole purpose is just to contain the lube in there. It really does not make a difference at all. How to separate the springs after two tub lubing without raging with two hands. That's the only way. Like two hands and fingers. Just gotta, gotta roll them. Uh, gotta like twist them until they're off. But I, I, <laughs> I actually understand that frustration because sometimes I'm just like, man, I wish they were just not tangled up. It's so annoying sometimes. Um... Did Clavier said anything? Did he just raid and leave? Maybe he did. Well, bye Clavier. Oh, hello. How's your stream? I'm still here. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Isn't it pretty late over there actually? That's a late time stream. Luckily, the, these springs do not have a bunch of ping. That's good. I'm sleepy. Brain feels fried. 4 a.m. Yeah, I'm gonna. I was gonna say like that's pretty late, man. What are you? What are you up to this late? What are you up to? Were, were you uh, cutting acrylic? Up till this hour. Made people fight each other in the war zone for de <laughs> ditto cases. <laughs> Very nice. So that's a new way of RNGing, quote unquote. More like merit based. It's like merit based keyboard rewarding. Kind of rough though for people who want it and can't, like, don't really play it at all. But I mean, that's fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. Bing Su looks so hot, my goodness. Yes, Bing Su looks great, right? Okay, so let me Okay. Seriously though, what is the best way to give away boards and make people work for it? Yeah, that's true. Contests is the only way. So only people who really want it will get it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean merit merit is the way to go with rewards like that because yeah you gotta make people work for it I suppose I mean it's part of the fun I guess right that's the Krelvit route where you ping everyone in your server and makes the contest all RNG yeah that's true that's not a bad idea though Extra touch of doing it at inhuman hours. Yeah, seriously, huh? Okay. Hmm. 
one of the mods and I suggest a Jackbox. Jackbox is so much fun. I love Jackbox. I mean, well, it depends on the game, actually. Murder Trivia Party is probably one of my favorite ones. But I love the other- I, I like the other games too, though. Uh, sometimes, though, they're a bit too creative for me to feel comfortable with playing. Because I'm just not as creative a person, I would say. Like the rap one, that can be hard, but I've, I've played it like in like one before and stuff. Okay. Um, Murder Trivia Party would have been good for the Dito. For the, for the Ditto? Yeah, that's true. One, two, three, four, five, six. Push the button is probably the best. That's a fun one. I would flip a key cult if I, but if I want something I didn't need, I'd make sure someone who would appreciate it more would get it. That's very nice of you. I certainly commend that and I think that is the fairest thing you can do. I mean, I honestly feel bad selling things for like a lot of money and stuff. Like I think that just, it just isn't my thing. Thank you, Audax, for reminding me to drink some water. It's, uh, what's the decal board you're using? Sounds good. Thank you. Uh, well, it's, uh, well, it's, I mean, <laughs> I guess thanks because I built it, I guess, but it's not my board. <laughs> it's a client's board. Uh, I built it earlier today. It's a key cult number two, revision one, with, um, basically linear, uh, switches. Like, uh, it's Zelio housings with Gadron yellow stems, 63.5 springs. Um, and, uh, uh, switch films loop with, uh, 205. Nope. Hate it when that happens. It's nice. Uh, brass plate? Yes, brass plate. Sounds pretty good for brass plate, eh? I am personally- Oh god, I keep missing. I'm pers uh, I'm personally like more of an aluminum kind of guy, but this build in particular sounded pretty good. I mean, there's nothing bad about brass plate. I think it just you just need to pick your switch choices appropriately. I mean, like every build, but I think aluminum is a really nice middle ground. So brass is stiffer, but also dampens a lot of sound really nicely. So. You know, it's uh, give or take. There's always a pro and a con kind of thing. Two builds in one day, you're spoiled. <laughs> There's, I have like, the queue is pretty long actually. I have like, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's like, uh, there's like five or six more boards that could be built, but I only only doing two today. I might do two more tomorrow. So, if you are free tomorrow, uh, you might see me streaming again tomorrow. So you're the spoiled one, I would say. As Lana said, content for weeks. <laughs> it would be content for weeks, uh, right? Um, I'm cramming them between today and tomorrow because I want no okay, so If I took advantage of this right I could Separate I could basically split all these builds over the month and get some more and stuff and or save them up and do like a subathon sort of event um 
but and, and also like kind of like to stack up my stats quote unquote for for partner application i feel like for partner i just need to i just need to earn it okay like streaming at convenient times is a good thing but also streaming frequently and with good content is more important and i want to make sure it's consistent because partner they can reject your partner application just fulfilling their requirement is nothing right you definitely have partner numbers, right? Uh, not quite. Uh, I need to stream more often. I need to stream... For partner, you need to stream at least three times a week. Meaning that you need to stream, sorry, 12 times every month, basically. So you need to do 12 streams a month, at least 80 viewers or above every on average. And uh, about 25 hours of total streaming per month or above. So it's actually like... Yeah, I, I could get part. I could get the stats for it, uh, just about barely if I streamed frequently. I need to stream three times a week though, which is quite a lot. Um, it's doable, uh, but up till basically, up until basically, uh, what what is that like? Um, Up until basically like yesterday, I was too busy. I, I, there was just no chance that I could have. There was just no chance that I could have possibly had the time to stream more than once or twice at most. So yeah. Um. But yeah, I could save like the stuff and like do it sometime in the future. But I figured this is my I have like you know like I'm basically like on vacation in terms of like it's Labor Day weekend, right? Um, so I figured why not get the work out of the door? Like there's people waiting for these for their boards. I've kind of delayed a few things for them, like you know, against their wishes in a way, um, for a couple of weeks and so i figured you know i don't want to delay it for them any further and it, it kind of sucks to have people waiting um so that was the main reason why i decided to um just go for a double build today and maybe two more builds tomorrow because i just want to get stuff out the door you know i like seeing people with their I like seeing people with with their builds, uh, with their um, keyboards, like happy with their keyboards. I, I like that. So it's, it's really not about like I don't I don't really like I'll, I'll be honest I don't really care as much about like the numbers or like whatever. It's not like it's this is my this is not my job, you know. Like if it were a professional career I'm pursuing, sure I'll be I'll be more serious about it, but that's not it. I do it for fun. Um, but yeah. Uh, wait, sorry, I made, I made, did I miss something? Oh, yes, about the switches on the build. I got cream, I used creams on Tofu65 and it sounded too plasticky. Changed that to Gat Inks, it sounds so good now. Yeah, uh, creams have a very, uh, loud, um, very loud upstroke. Uh, they're, they're just loud, a very, like, clacky switch. First brass plate build in an 1800, so I had planned to use MX Islands, but didn't feel like getting more housing so I use milky yellows I had I see there will be only so many boards you can build wondering if it will get stale after a while I see is that a sh uh, uh, shit stack on the left yes that's uh, that's uh, uh, bifrost uh, for the DAC and the lure 2 for the amplifier uh, uh, so the amp is actually um, plugged into my monitors uh, like uh, like like speaker monitors yeah this guy has been building all the end game boards recently <laughs> you can call a lot of things end game but yeah I've been getting some nice nice boards lately for sure
So in case people have not noticed, this new custom palm plate has a very key difference uh, compared to the um, to the original aluminum plate that was provided in the original uh, Bowery kit. And do you guys know what it is? <laughs> Lightning design TKL when? <laughs> um, I need to learn CAD for that. Um, I also don't think I would design a TKL if I didn't know what I wanted to make original, like something original. I would want to make it something mine and original. Fix the heart, yeah. So if someone has a uh, is on Discord right now, you should uh, you should screenshot this right now and post it on Wilba's server. Just just at him. Uh, it's okay. He won't blame me for it because this is fixed. So you should. If someone, whoever whoever does it, I'll I'll thank you. But yeah, you can do it if you want. I mean, I could do it now, but I, I don't want to bother. I want someone that, I want someone else to do it so he doesn't expect it if he's not watching because I don't think he is. Yeah, I don't think he's watching. So. Yeet. Just go and do it, guys. Go and do it. Hopefully this one's easier on your thumbs. <laughs> Man, very true. This is so much nicer than earlier. Earlier, like, everything hurt. Like, not just my thumbs, but I was also, like, actually leaning with my own body weight. Oh, God. Uh, like, for the key cult build, because it, it had the original brass plate, which is super, super tight. Oh, it's such a relief. What are we supposed to ask? No, just just uh, post the photo with uh, and tag him. He'll know. He'll know when he sees it. <laughs> you hear good things about his PCB designs and feel like this is a setup? No, 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 it's not. Hey, uh, Golian. Hey, what's up, man? How are you doing? Good to see you. What switch do you put on the TKL? Just do exclamation keyboard and you'll find information about the keyboard I'm typing on here. And the build is exclamation build. Can't tag Wilba? What? You can't? I'll just do it. Oh, there. Someone did it. Raz, thank you so much. I saw it. Thank you, thank you.
Okay, good. Uh, stamps are good to go. Have you been? Um, I haven't. Let's see. Got yellow stem hog. That's interesting. Of course, there was going to be a lot. One, it's plume. What? Oh yeah. Okay. It's quite interesting that Alex Odo's is getting a lot of prototypes to build on. He's been. Uh, he he has quite a lot of viewership. Um, very very successful. Have I been pl plugging the butt? No, I don't do that. Uh, I don't do the thing that uh, Apiary or Nat uh, do, um, where they use uh, dielectric grease to plug the back part of the stabilizer. I don't do that because um, I don't feel the need to. Um, it's been working fine the way I uh, loop just with 205. Um, I only use 205. I use 205 for basically everything uh, in terms of the stabs. And it seems to be working fine. Um, doesn't add any drag or anything in particular, so I'm satisfied personally. But uh, if I do ask clients to give me feedback every so often because um, I do like knowing kind of like how builds have progressed over time and whether they still like it or not, or whether the stabilizers have gone bad in a way or whatever it might be. Um, because it, because if so, then it means I can. Uh, change how I do things, right? So, it's just feedback. Also, is that this? My bad. I think it's uh, it's a Sony um, A sixty four hundred actually. I think I uh, yeah, it's a it's a it's an A sixty four hundred. I'm pretty sure. But anyway, is it A sixty four hundred? I'm an idiot. I I don't remember. Sometimes. They basically are identical, so it's like they're like almost identical. So I like so I always forget. Sixty four hundred. My bad. That's uh, that's a um, that's a typo in the command. So I'll fix it. Uh, I'll fix it later. Actually, I'm gonna write it down. Exclamation camera fix six point four. Can't believe they rejected his partner for changing his name. Oh, I see. Oh, that's unfortunate. As Alex doesn't get too many builds outside of his personal builds, so it's nice that he gets prototypes. Yeah, that makes sense. Isn't it also because of his location, though? Isn't he in, uh, was he in Toronto? Toronto? Because location does matter for how much volume of requests you could get, right? Um, because, you know, people need to send you stuff. And if it's expensive, people might be averse to doing so. Regional and all that considered. So that's probably why. The Great White North, yeah. yeah, yeah. I figured. I mean, it's good. Yeah, it's good for him. I'm, I mean, personally, I... Like... I like Alex, and uh, I've noticed that he's been doing really well, and I really wish him a lot of success. Although I'm not sure, like, if he's planning on going like any full time or anything like this, like that for this, this kind of stuff. Oh, oh shit! Switch. Plastic plates are so flimsy sometimes. Alex likes RGB. Full time is hard for keyboards. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Full time is no joke. I mean, it's. I would say that we're at the point where it's not it's still not sustainable, or not. It's still not a sustainable thing to do. Professionally, it's very difficult. Like you would think, it seems lucrative, easy, but. You have to work really hard every single day, I think. 
Not that you wouldn't in any other job, but still, it's very, still niche and stuff. Well, it's not the same as like tech tubing or whatever. Um, a lot of networking too, yeah. Alex likes RGB, viewers like RGB, that is correct. Um, only Nathan Napier have done it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and the v viewers like the artisanal stuff that he has, makes sense. I was really surprised when Nathan did it considering his job. Me too, I was very surprised. I was like, wait, what? You dropped the career in software to do it? It's like, wow. At the same time, it's a passion, right? Like, yeah. Uh, like the fact that you can do something like keyboards that was a hobby at some point and became a passion for you and to do that in a full time sort of way is astounding and equally like amazing. Like you're kind of like following your dreams, that kind of stuff. And so, I don't know, like don't you think that's kind of cool? I, I like, yeah, it is very daunting and scary and all that, but. My god, the price for cameras always surprised me. Yeah, anything is like minimum I would want to be at to go full time. Yeah, uh, just popping for a short bit. Hey, Tempest, what's up? You need to get sponsored from Corsair Logitech. Someone asked about Simon's ISO button. Yes, Simon's ISO. This is the ISO, it's a single enter key, has an engraving, it's USB C, it's via programmable. I use it for push to talk actually. I just do, I just like place it right here. And it's like I'm playing Among Us, and then it's like, oh yeah, it was that guy. <laughs> he lost money on ISO. <laughs> Not to mention, I mean, it's been delayed so long to ship. Uh, a lot of them because of uh, because of COVID. The situation's not great for shipping. Uh, since if he had a career in the software at his age, he probably had some flexibility. Let's just say. I mean, flexibility is one thing. Another thing is like the willing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a way, that is flexibility. Like the willingness to do it, to jump into it, is is a way of saying flexibility. Like he's not settled, like having a family or anything specific like that. So yeah, it is flexibility. I <laughs> so is life. <laughs> Think the keyboard scene will keep growing? Yeah, it, it has a lot of room to grow. But it it also doesn't mean that it's. A career would be easy though in, a, in it despite the opportunity just like in every growing like field there are growing pains right so yeah you have to struggle through those growing pains <laughs> in order to make it out there um I mean, he lives with his parents. Yeah, that too, right? Like, there's a lot of things that he's been doing instead. Can you guys on the chat tell me about VIA? I'm using XD65RE and downloaded the firmware on the VIA website, but it didn't detect my keyboard, but the board works. Huh. Uh, have you updated your VIA client, maybe? Like, the software? Because that's interesting that the keyboard works, but the... But like via doesn't detect it. Is, are you sure? I mean, it's you. You downloaded the hex file on on the via on, on can I use via.com, right? Because if so, then it means it's officially supported by it. So I did download the latest release. That's good. Uh, but uh, how about the hex file? Where do you get the hex file from?
I finished my Lily 58. Hey, nice. Wait, uh, Pirulito, did you get the lube? Did you get the lube that we sent you from 1UP Keyboards? The one that I bought you? <laughs> Do you get it yet? Not yet? Oh, man. Yeah, I figured. It takes forever to do international. You building board, I'm fixing stone chips. Good background stream. That's good, man. I uh, made a command for you, Mr. Tempest. Uh, uh, do exclamation key puller. I'm sure, I think that's correct. But try try doing exclamation key puller, and you'll see some deets. Some cool little details. I'm not seeing on can I use via.com support it list. Hmm. Maybe that's why. Te lo diré en español porque no sé cómo decirlo. Lo puedo que puedes gastar un poco de los switches para, para cuando tenga el lubricante quizás sea mejor. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, uh, Pirulito, that's uh, es una buena estrategia. O sea, yo creo que si puedes, este, ¿cómo se dice desolder en español? Desolder. <risa> los switches, este, cuando cuando te llegue el lubricante, el lubricante, entonces este ya ya podrías este tener este switches más Wait, Lightning has one? De soldar? Oh, yeah, de soldar. Of course, yeah, soldadura, right? I'm an idiot. Um, it would be nice to break in, yeah. I've returned with spicy, spicy nudes. Um, wait. What are you, what are you, what are you, what are you saying? Uh, Kimchi Jody boy. I have one, what? Have one what? Oh, the puller. Yes, I I got it. Uh, I got it. I got it. Not not long ago. The casualidad chileno? No, I believe Pirulito is Mexicano. A huevo. Híjole. <laughs> Uh, my fellow Spanish speaker. I've been seeing more Spanish speakers on keyboards. Uh, it's actually been kind of hard to believe in the sense that I just don't see them often, you know? It's kind of cool. Community is getting bigger. Well, lucky you, the guy who wrote Via is streaming right now? The guy who wrote Via is streaming? Wait, who do you mean? Oh, whoopsie. I must have, uh... Uh, hold up. I made a mistake with that command. I used the proxy word. Uh, I didn't properly set it up. Let me let me change that slightly. Command words. Aha. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah, just change it up, my bad. Alrighty. Every time someone says puller, it might like trigger that, so. <laughs> Lol, what? Yo, Mr. Wilba. Do you, do you see this? 
Do you see this? This, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, uh, revolutionary. Redeeming. Courageous. Look at that. Look at Mr. Wilba peeking out this little heart orifice. Pepper run. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Got an orifice oof. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's hydrate no matter what. I think Dixie got a crush on me, it's awkward. I mean, think about this, my man. If if the PCB weren't there, keyboard would be would be shite, right? It would just not work. So Yeah. You gotta, you gotta respect the person who, who has the brains. That's that's what it is. Scheduled to dock in Australia, 9th of September, finally. Yeah. Yeah, Thermal is so close. Alright, we got some fan noises upcoming now. Ugh. Yo, Hoffy, hello. What's good, man? How you doing? Huh? Those might have extra... What? Secret milk thermals? Nani? What are you, what, what are you, what are you guys even talking about? Ugh.
Okay. Um, if you had to choose Shoko, R2, or Sloth, Sloth, or Botanical, um, Sloth. Personally, I like the natural colors for Sloth. Shoko has really nice colors, but I prefer R1. Uh, not huge on the icon mods for this new round. Hey, Mr. Stash. Hello, hello. How are you doing this evening? Y'all literally picked the one that isn't running right now? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I'll, I'll pick uh, Jim K. Sloth. Looks pretty cute. Uh, I like the natural colors too, as I said. How are we doing tonight? We're doing alright. We doing all right. Second build of the day, actually. They went for icon mods on Shoko R2, yeah. I have Yuru, I'm gonna join this month, so that's it for me one time per month. That's that's a good, very good policy to have. I also don't don't join more than one set a month. And also I don't always join every month either. This month I had to pay I mean, I mean there's like Dolch stuff going on and there was like a like a lot of other expenses, so yeah, depends on the depends on the month for sure. But yeah. For those who are new to the stream, uh, if you do exclamation socials, uh, you can actually head on over to my Instagram profile so at uh, lightning keyboards and um, I posted information about the current group buys running so on canon keys we have um, cat Mizu and uh, cat Mizu and GMK Yuru on um, Dixie Mech we have the 808 uh, Gadron inks on novel keys we have Modokai material and GMK sloth and um, on, I guess that's it. That's it for now, uh, group buy wise. And then other products wise, you can find um, boob stations and springs and desk keys films and T1 switches among other things on Prime Keyboards, primekb.com slash lightning. And then it's coming soon. There will be more projects on projectkeyboard.com. This month hurts for me. Joined beta and minimal last month. I'm running dry. Isn't beta this month technically? I mean, uh, I guess it's like in the middle of both. Yeah, beta looks pretty good. The the JS uh, base kit looks pretty appealing to me.
Beta JS Dolch R5 CC box. Yeah, CC box was as expensive as a is as expensive as a GMK set, right? So, and that's not even including shipping, I believe. I'm hyped for Rama's Kate set. The Rama new profile looks pretty interesting. Uh, it's cylindrical, so I could see that it's a comfortable profile to type on. Uh, I would love to t try it out. Hopefully, uh, we'll get to see that around here um, soon. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I do want to try it out though. Cylindrical profile and new possibilities sounds pretty exciting. Double shot too, and like uh, it it will allow for shine through, yeah. so that's uh, also kind of interesting. It'll be like gamer meets RGB gamer meets custom keyboards. Hydration is important. Don't forget about it. Thank you for the reminder. I'll I'll do so as soon as I'm done with these last couple of switches or last handful of switches rather. I do see the window uh, for the requests, so no worries. I, I will get to it. Thank you for the reminder, though. Time TK will destroy me by going back up the second day and Plume 65 to... Um, I don't know what I might do if I hit. Let's see. I suppose it sounds like a raffle. Nice cackle fruit, what? I'm literally trying to get artisans for the nerd box. What's the nerd box? Is that the acrylic case? Can't keep up with all these new interest checks. It's kind of hard to keep up with them. Okay, just checking my solder joints, making sure that they're okay. Ooh. I don't like that one. solder, doesn't it?
Um, hello, hello, Dodo. I got the CC. What's in the nerd box look like? Lol stacks is holder look. Oh, I see. I know which one it is. Take a break from Artisan because shipping is costly from for New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure that must be very expensive. Alright, redeemed that hydrate, thank you. Can you please lick the heart shaped hole on the plate? Um, I will only do it if I'm incentivized enough. So it's it's really a no unless it's incentivized enough. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Fine, incentivize. <sighs> you know, it might be dangerous to put my to to do that. You know, it might be a dangerous thing to do. So, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it for I'll do it for twenty five hundred bits. Yo, Mr. Jinte, Mr. Gino, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the raid, my friend. Jente squad on the raid jet. <laughs> welcome guys, welcome. So um first of all we're gonna test our PCB. As rates are going up, it was 2k earlier today, yeah man. Nighttime You know how breakfast is cheaper than dinner? Dinner meals are expensive, man. You gotta catch the lunch special. If not, otherwise, it's more expensive for the entree. It's just how it. It's just how it goes. The circle of life. That's some art aftermarket going on. Yeah. Right. I uh. Plug it in properly. I will allow a lick of the heart for 2500 bits. Very well. It has been allowed. How, how was your stream, Jinte? I was catching a little bit of it and then I uh, didn't see all of it. Because I was getting ready to stream. <laughs> Let's see where's Via. Uh, but yeah. Lick the heart-shaped hole for the raid. No, 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 no. My, my, my price is fixed, my man. It's uh, this is this is uh, I, I stick to my word. Okay, I'm a man of my word. I'll stick to it. I guarantee you. If the, if if it's incentivized, I'll do it, and I won't back off. What about twenty-five hundred channel points? No, 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 what, what, what channel points or whatever. I said, I said, uh, wait, did I not solder this one? Uh, interestingly enough, it's not actuating, so I'm gonna have to look at that one. Had to rebuild two pre-builds and some switches on both PCBs won't actuate. Oh man, that's a shame. I mean, you can see that I'm not actuating a couple of switches here, which is sounds like it's similar to what we're going through. But at the same time, I don't know exactly if it's just... Oh, God damn it. Uh, I hate it when I... Uh, like accidentally press like the win key and everything minimizes and 
I keep forgetting that on Via, pressing the win key actually presses the win key, which is something I would like to avoid. So, okay. And well, the rest work except for those two. That sounds like the that's the plus sign and the P. So I just need to look at those and hold up. Uh, there's so much stuff open. Uh, okay, there we go. All right. Um, so let's take a look at those. Okay, so. The plus sign and the P. Oh, I see. Okay. I might just desolder that one, actually. I don't like that switch. I might replace that switch. I might just replace both while I'm at it. Because I think... I don't like them. Rip in, rip in piece, P and plus. Yeah, they're the, the two P's. Peas in a pod. Haha. <laughs> Sorry. Just excuse my lame ass jokes. Let's see. Uh, what, who do I have to talk to to get GUI key reassigned for test matrix? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, VIA is maintained by a team of people, but you can definitely contact them. If you go to the QMK Discord server, there is a Q, uh, VIA channel f uh, for support as well. the piece of solder huh. let me try desoldering that one joint again Dead by Let's wait for it to cool off a little. <clears throat> I definitely don't want to overheat the joint because otherwise that pad is going to come off. Let's test the PCV without it. 
without the switches on. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's see. An anonymous cheerer. Thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Wow, thank you. Especially for being anonymous too. Okay, so that does work. And so does that key. So I think it was just the switches. happened an anonymous cheer oh my goodness thank you so much for the 1000 bits ah yeah yeah we're reaching the goal uh oh have you seen gawk has teased the 65 percent yes i did wait Oh no! Uh, okay, fine. Fair enough. I'm a man of my word. But let's first test this PCB. Let me just finish testing it, and we'll we'll get right to it. Yep, that that closes the deal. That closes the deal. Okay, P is working fine, and no. Why is this key not working? Okay, hold up. What that mouth do? Oh my god. Huh. The plus key is not working for some reason. Yeah, the, the plus key is not working for some reason. I have a feeling maybe a pad or something that came off or whatever. I'll have to I'll have to investigate that a little further. Okay, fine. I'll redeem your 2500 bit thing first. <sighs> Should have charged more for that. <clears throat> Gerald Juby, hello. Alrighty. Diego really want that new PC. Hmm. Do you really want that new desk? I need a new desk, my friends. Okay. There's the heart, right? <sighs> okay, do I... Do not clean it afterward? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not gonna not clean it. Alright. You have to... Uh, do I have to do it with my... Okay. 
All right. You guys see Wilba Wilba Heart? Okay. <laughs> That's it. Nah. Done. Okay. No more. <laughs> Uh, I can promise that I did it. Okay, fine. I'll sh I'll show you. I, I I did it. Uh, wait. The reflection. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Wipe it off. <laughs> Wipe it off. <laughs> uh. It's okay. It's okay, friends. I will save this PCB. I have isopropyl alcohol. I will save you, Wilba. Saved. Done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> Aftermarket value just went up. Ah. Uh. Okay, alright. Whew! <laughs> okay, I need to figure out this PCB now, okay? So let's do that. Let's do that first. You, you need to thank the anonymous cheerer who made it happen. Kimchi Jody Boy, like, completed it, but it was really the anonymous cheer who did most of the work. I missed it, do it again? No! Once, only once. Once in a lifetime opportunity. Okay. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so this key is not working for some odd reason, and I do I, I do think it's maybe like a pad burned or something. Uh, yeah, so it definitely is working like somewhere on the inside when I like um, trigger it. So wait, where is D again? Oh, that's the wrong PCB. So like yeah, so that one's working. That one's not. That one's working. This this is all working, but not the not this one. So um, I might have to run a bridge, which I think is fine. Let me just look. Wait, where are the traces on that? Oh, it's on the other side. Yeah, it's on the other side, isn't it? I can't see it though. Mm, let me get a photo of it. GMK train next. Oh, true, true, true. I'll keep that one. That promise. But it's it's the the counter is reset now. I'm sorry, friends. The counter has reset. Um, actually, wait. I need, I'm gonna need my soldering iron for this. Oops. Sorry about. Oh, sorry about the echo. If it's echoing, I was gonna go and. Uh, Check my own VOD. I just want to look at the traces again.
nice and clean. Let's test it again. Ooh, big scam. <laughs> you underestimated my power. Let's see. Okay, so that's triggering, but now I want this guy to work. Wait, 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 wait. I have a feeling it's this other one. So how come it does trigger from the inside of the pad but not on the outside? Must mean there's a this connection somewhere in the pad. Oh boy, my bad. What key tester is that? Love the color palette. It's the it's a it's via. I I'm just uh, using the goddamn pump is a waste of time. Do you have any artisans yet? <laughs> will but I need you to design the end game PCB modular PCB that will work with any board. But that means, isn't that basically like putting himself out of business? <laughs> that's very, that's very smooth brain. I'm just waiting for this to heat up. So this PCB
Huh. Interesting that it's not triggering. So it doesn't trigger from this end. So there must be... I think the pad is ripped up from the inside. It's probable that the... Um, yeah. Yeah, it's very likely that when I remove the Milmax socket, the um, pad got ripped out with the socket. So it's, that, that can happen. If that's the case, all I need to do is run a little wire. So you see how from the top side, it'll trigger fine, but it won't trigger from the bottom side. But that's because it's ripped up. So if I do it from the bottom, like only if I probably go all the way through, it'll work. But from the top, it won't just... Uh, there were mil max in there? Yes, there were mil max in there. So yeah, so I basically can't trigger it from the top. Why not just use a lot of solder? Because it's not always going to... Because uh, um, it doesn't necessarily guarantee that it's going to go all the way. See, like I'm even trying to use my tweezers to kind of work my way out in there, but I can't. So um, what I can do is just run a wire. trying to see which which of the two pads is the one that's ripped up I think it's the left one that's ripped up and the top one isn't yeah okay See though, I can't look in there. Okay, I think it's this one that's ripped out. I'll just run a really short piece of wire. Um, PCB scuffed? It happens. Do you know how good that silver pen stuff is to repair pads and traces? Uh, no, I'm not sure. I, I just use wires. Small piece of wire should be enough. So. Do you test by shorting to diode pads? Uh, yeah, so I, the thing is I'm trying to look into, I can't tell, yeah, so I'll, I mean, I'll try that right now. I'll actually try that right now. That's, that's a, that's, that, that, that's something I can do too, but. Um, so like if you short to the diode pads on the back, Yeah, um, so I think this top pad here is, is dead. This, so this one's ripped out for sure. Like, let me show you. I'm not sure if I can show it with the camera, but. Okay. So, oh, okay, there. So, you know, like, I can see the, oh, shit. I can see the, um, pad is fine on this one, but I'm pretty sure that, uh, hold up, I'm pretty sure the one on the top is ripped out. So I was just thinking of passing a wire either 
around <laughs> like like around like that or just through either way it works it would work um, I, I I I don't know where this one goes uh, this trace is it in columns so is it gonna be like um I mean where is it gonna go where, where does this trace go if I know where this one goes then I could just do that Anyway. NVIDIA use test matrix? Okay, sure. Shows the columns? Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, so like, how does it, uh, like, if I, like, if I do this, I would have to, okay. I mean, I was just gonna go with a ghetto method and just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think, I think you, I think, I think, I think you know what I mean. And I think I'm just gonna go with a more ghetto method of resolving this, which is just to make a short <laughs> around it. And that's just gonna solve the problem, it's gonna be fine. You can wire two pads on the same column. Yeah, yeah. Um, the thing is, <laughs> your traces are invisible on this on this PCB, um, Wilba. I can't. Well, the problem is I didn't note it beforehand. I like because when I tested from the front, it was fine, but it was not from the back. If I know where the which one is it? Uh, it's the plus, plus equal sign. Plus equal sign. I think I think I think I got this though. Goes to oh okay, okay all right sounds good. Thank you. I was just gonna do this anyway, but if if what I just did now is not good enough, then we can just move on. Hey, <laughs> ghetto ass solution that works. <laughs> Check this out, boys. This is this is true engineering right here. Guessing you had to jump something? Yeah, but this is a this is this is just it's just the easy way to jump it is to basically use the same hole, not have to jump it anywhere else. It's gonna be a big joint boy. But that's that's cool. 
We got some scuff going on. Uh, a little, but not. I mean, it's not that bad. Okay, so let me show you what I just did before I solder it. Um, you guys see that little boy here? That guy here? You guys see that... Sorry. You guys see that little piece of wire poking out here? So I bent that wire so it basically catches on the other side of the PCB. So it's basically a piece of wire that shorts the top end with the bottom end. That's it. That's all it does. And I'm just going to make a joint to cover those. It should work. That's not too ghetto. I mean... Trust me, I used to do way worse jobs with this kind of stuff before. Alrighty. It's a big fat joint. And now we just need to test it. Oh, wait. Moment of moment of truth yeah. Woo! look at that look at look at how well it responds hey let's go easy peasy lemon squeezy done saved a simple wire saves the day I'm glad I kept these from my undergrad uh, electronics lab. I bought that. I bought this from my electronics lab, and I've had it since 2014. Easy clap, indeed. Bomb has been diffused. That's right. Six year investment finally paying off. <laughs> All right, just organizing my stuff here. Okay, so now that it works, we can just uh, get our power case and put things together. Uh, alrighty. Let's see. Um, what did I miss? Jeff Leopard being a super nice guy and sending Kimchi Jody Boy a free artisan. Such a homie. What a great guy. And um, that's what I that's one thing I missed earlier. There are mail max in there, yes. Why not use a loss out? I read that. Um, having designer in stream is big cheating. Is it cheating though? What if the designer likes me? <gasps> Gasp. But maybe it's just like it's just like Dixie and Wilva's relationship where it's just simply it's it's simply one person having a crush on the other, but it's not two way. It's not a two-way street there. Maybe that's what it is between us. Unrequited 
love. Um. Anyway, do you have a tool list command? Uh, oh so lavish! Uh, exclamation gear. I'm so sorry that I missed your question. So hypothetically, if you needed to desolder that socket, how difficult would it be? Uh, very easy now because it's just it will just come off along with the wire. Pro gamer move. Thank you. The long game paid off. And licked. If that ain't the death of stonks, I don't know what it is. I'm sorry, I'm catching up with all this stuff. I'm just not that into you. <laughs> F. F's in chat, boys. F's in chat, please. He's just not that into me. Game over. GG. Just called it. I like getting people deeper into the... Wait, I missed it. Uh, I like getting people deeper into hobby and broke. <laughs> true, 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 true. Who licked who? I don't know, who licked who? Okay. I like you too if you lick my PCP. <laughs> I'm very interested in the sound of this palm plate, me too. Although I've never tried a Bower, so I can't say much about it. Get ready for the raid? What raid? Inbound raid? Whom? Who's raiding? Oh, Mac Merlin. Hello. Mr. Mac Merlin, hello, hello, hello. It's been a while actually. Um thank you so much for the raid, Mr. Mac Merlin. I I hope you had a very good stream. What was the stream about today? Welcome, uh eighty one viewers from Mac Merlin's stream. Uh, we are building a bower today, which we will give it the Linus blessing shortly. Stay tuned for the lightning tech tips blessing, rather. Okay, I tighten the screws just enough for the res initial resistance, and that's it. So we should have a nice and soft plate. Hydrate, my friends. 
Linus blessing, you gonna drop it? <laughs> hey everybody, toe free. Hello, hello. Ronin Otaku Knight. Check bot. Oh my god, I missed it. Yes, you did. <sighs> All right. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Let me replicate some true magic. Oh, actually. Before we do that, let's put some keycaps on this, shall we? So, ah, yes. This is, this is the real vote, my friends. I'm going to do the poll of the ages. It will, the poll that will ring across the epochs of time. Okay, here comes the top poll of twitch.tv the spiciest poll it's loading which key set on this gray bower gmk Don't disappoint me, okay? Don't... Don't disappoint me, please. Let me... Let me just make sure I have the right things here. Let me just make sure. Let me just make sure. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't care if it is there or not. <sighs> don't disappoint me, chat. I'm not gonna say anything until this poll is over. Pause champ right now. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You didn't make it so we spend points in the poll? Nah, 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 man. It's gotta be fair and square. Fair and square. Whoa! 50-50! The poll's not over yet, but it's okay. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go wash my hands. You guys are gonna vote, and I'm gonna find the surprise here. Hopefully it will be a pleasant surprise. <clears throat> Do not disappoint me, my friends. I'll be right back.
to look at the pole. Uh, let's see. We're back. What happened in my absence? What? What? I respect it. I respect it. I respect it. Fine. <sighs> no redos. Yeah? You only get one chance in life and you guys bombed it. Gave you one chance in life. And you guys bombed it. <clears throat> it's okay. Now I will give it the real treatment. <sighs> uh, let's see. Let me see what happened during the time I was gone. What's the color of the bower? It's cyan. It has a blue bottom. It has to be modern. Well, true, but I have cyan mods for OG Dolch as well. People didn't know that though. I didn't want to. I, I wanted people to choose based on the regular colors, not the accents. It's not about the accents, it's about the base color. Uh, you didn't make it so we spend points? No. No, I don't like cheating. Uh, would you recommend I do a build with black inks over NK creams? Yes, I prefer black inks over NK creams because uh, creams are a little bit too clacky for me. Moto or Pepega, y'all underestimate how many points I have. LOL. Uh, rainy day is coming. Why do I need Moto? How many points? Kimchi, blah, blah, blah. Looks like it is indeed Moto or Bust. <sighs> Massive F. Points thing doesn't make pulse reliable though, yeah. Um, can I override with Dolch? No, no, no. No override. No override. I, I respect chat's choice. I'm a man for the people, okay? Chat is trolling. It's okay. If you wanted to troll me, then so be it. Fool me once! Shame on you. Fool me twice? Shame on... What was that again? <sighs> okay. I'm sorry for it. It's gray. Black would have been different. Uh, maybe. Maybe. SMH chat. He was hinting so much. <sighs> chat can't read me. Chat doesn't understand how I'm trying to communicate here. Um, no worries though. I respect it. Chat didn't know that I ran Dolge. True. Maybe. Um, I miss the old trays. Yeah, bring old trays back. New trays are trash. I'm sorry, but the new trays are trash. This is what I think about the new trays. This, this, my friends. This is, this is, this is garbage. Yes, I took a bite out of it. I took. Ugh. I hate these trays, though. 
hate these trays. They're so bad. Don't worry, I brush my teeth. Well, not now, but I do brush my teeth. <laughs> Fool me, can't get fooled again. <laughs> oh man, that was a good movie documentary use accents yeah of course oh, I will oops The upside to the new trace is that you have a small snack while putting on keycaps. Yum potato. Love it. Sorry, I'm like behind on chat, huh? At least we made you lick the plate. True. A capture for the for for history. Anyone can confirm the 808 ink has the same sound as normal gaddings? Uh, basically. I wouldn't expect it to be too different, but I guess it could be a little bit different. Um, uh, no arrow accents. We're gonna do enter and escape arrow. I mean, escape um, accents today. And let's see, home. Okay, drop. What are all these little? Pieces of potato starch. Page up, page down, and Ultra isn't environmental friendly, but people keep it. New one is, new one is, but people throw them away. Yeah. Is this OG Dolch or Modern Dolch? This is uh, Modern Dolch. Jack Static, redeemed. Uh, choose the artisan. Pasheen Bongo. Let me see if I have it actually. Um, I do. I do have Pasheen. Uh, I'll go get it. I'll go get it. Uh, you should make a burrito with the new tray. Um, GMK tray gnocchi. When is Moto L shipping? Okay. All right. All right, chat. Um, you need to pick your accents. I'm not picking them for you. One's definitely gonna be blue. Just pick which one's gonna be red. Which one's gonna be blue or both blue. Basically, choose the choose the order and uh, which colors, but one's definitely blue. The other you can choose whichever you want. Both blue, both blue, both blue. Okay, both blue it is. That's fine. Ooh. Fucked it up already.
Yo, Darian. Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you, thank you. Oh, no, wait, Jack Static. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for gifting a, a sub to Darian. Thank you so much. So kind of you. All right, both blue. Uh, no, I hate those icons. Um, and escape. Red to trigger chat? Oh my god, this man. Alright. We'll do red escape. Oh no, 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 no. We have to do red red enter to trigger chat. Best way to trigger chat is to use the big accent. That's the wrong one. Please use Rama. Oh, sure. Okay, we can do that. Uh, let's use a Rama. Uh, I guess we can use this guy. Make the blue even smaller. It's a subtle, subtle accents here. Let's see, I'll, uh, Refund you on one obsidian and complete one for you. Sorry, I'm, I was just catching up on uh, chat. My my bad. Not triggered. Are you sure? Are you sure you're not triggered? Bar looking groovy. That's good. Uh, what was I gonna get? Artisan. The artisan either goes in the other corner, or we take away them. We take away our little. Um, uh, the artisan's kind of light, though. Hmm. But Mr. Jack Static asked for it, so we'll have to put it in the corner. Put it on the J. <laughs> Red accent to trigger the audience, a man for the people, listens to the donors, but also the people. But the donors matter a lot because sponsorships are important. Am I right? Am I wrong? Gotta put food on the table, you know? Oh, okay. Whew. It's a little hot, so I'm just gonna turn on the AC for a second. Let me see. Which comes first, Dracula or Moto L? I have a feeling Dracula, but who knows? Yak, this is bull ass for me. <laughs> that actually looks good. Small square, kinda cute. I wish icon mods were an option in Dolge. Like, you mean regular icons? Um, so the Kekkon Dolge. So, the version of Dolge that I have here is icon mods. That's, that's, this is regular Dolge and has icon mods. Um, and then, um... You drop your back face down one row. <laughs> Yeah, I think if I were doing 65%, I could, I would be okay with putting the two U backspace too. 
It's 100 plus in California today? Man, that's crazy. You have 40k channel points? Yo, I'ma raise them prices. I'ma raise prices. I am sorry. We need inflation. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> Y'all are redeeming like it's no big deal. Uh, no, I'm starting from the bottom. Yes, I raised them. I have 18k. Man. Either y'all are huge fans of my stream. Or I'm ripping myself off. The rich are making the poor suffer. <laughs> Isn't that reality though? Ain't that truth. Ain't that the truth. Um, Let's see. Next time I'll just vote OG Dolch. <laughs> uh, 40k. Alright. I'm ripping yourself off? Yes, I am. Seriously. Alright. So let's get our big boy here out of the way. And, um, okay, guys, tribute or typing test? Tribute or typing test? Let's just make sure it works. Okay, it does. Tribute or typing test? If you don't know what I mean, just pick one. What is tribute and do it after the taste test? I already I already did I already did my donation redeeming part. Um so no more of that. Tribute tribute I'm seeing two tributes and that's it. No one's voting. So that's fine. We'll do tribute then. You guys should see what the tribute is about. WTF is a tribute. Uh, for the un for the uninitiated, I will show you. I will show you. Or if you would like to see it in, uh, where, where's my browser window? Why is it not popping up? Weirdly enough, my browser window is not working properly. It's, it's refusing to to show me show the truth. Wait, what? Why is it doing that? Okay, hold up. Yeah, whatever. My browser is whack right now. This is cursed. Yes, this stream is cursed, my friends. This is a late night stream. This is this is this is not safe for work. This is eight. This is twenty one plus. I was gonna say eighteen, but I realized I'm in the U.S. <clears throat> oh, hydrate. Thank you. Oh, I don't have water. you for the hydrate redemption alrighty the tribute time has come oh wait is it uh, I must replicate it I need to hold it by this part. I guess for your camera view, I should do it the opposite way. <clears throat> Can we choose what you hydrate with? <laughs> I actually don't have tequila at home today. Oh, yeah, it's unfortunate. Alright, y'all ready? You can only do one hydrate per stream, is that right? 
Oh. Uh, maybe? I don't know. I, I'll check the settings. Alright. With special effects and everything. It's clean, pristine. Nothing happened to it. Yay! 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 Applause! Applause! Clap! 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 Get my fingerprints off of this. How was that? Is I hope you're you're all pleased. Let's get on to the typing, shall we? Is the bower light? Yeah, it's super light. Um, where's my uh? Oh. It is super, super light, though. So it weighs... It weighs... 1171 grams. Or... About two pounds and nine ounces. So pretty light board. It's because it's just aluminum, and the pl and in this case the plate is plastic, and the switches, right? So, guys, ask him to lick the red enter. Licks cost money, my friend. Do you go to a person you would like to ask to lick a certain item and tell them, could you please lick this certain item? They won't do it for free. People make- people put food on the table doing this, okay? There is no such thing as a free lunch, my friends. That's number one thing you should learn in econ class, right? When people go on mech market and lecture you about lecture you about how much they know about supply and demand and how it's so stupid that you're not flipping because you could earn so much money and if you flip, hey man, like you're gonna be rich or whatever, but <laughs> So Diego gets escorts, he says. I I would say people who do it professionally obviously do it for do it for a reason and I mean it, there is a profession for it for for, for reasons right it's okay Wilbur can say whatever he wants but I, I won't take too much offense to it as he said he needs to raise it yes licking the red enter Wait, what, what did I- how much did I do? 2,500 earlier? 3,000. It's just five more bucks. <clears throat> let's get it, boys. Alright, let's- let's get, continue this stream, shall we? <laughs> we're just- we're just playing around here. We're just messing around here. Too much. Um, so... Let's just, uh... Let's just finish up some of these things. No 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 not points bits three thousand bits I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna reject and refund points back to Wilba six five a two rejected dumped You think I'm you think I am cheap? You do do you really think I would just do things as I'm told? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, fine. I'll I'll do it for I'll do it for two thousand. I'll do it for two thousand. She proceeds to lower price. Yeah, you see the irony. Anonymous cheers. Who is who is this anonymous cheerer? This anonymous cheerer is out to ruin my life. Okay, let's let's get on typing. Do do do. Mm. I have a feeling I misaligned the casket very slightly on the left, but we'll, we'll check that in just a sec. <clears throat> okay. All right. Let's start typing on it. So, um, why is my monitor not working? So this is a um. Dixie McBower with Gadron ink switches. Um, it has 63.5 um, uh, gram springs and 205 grade zero for the lube. Um, and yeah, and it has a full palm plate. Uh, that's the plate. All right. Which keycaps? This is uh, GMK Modern Dolch. Okay, not bad. One eighteen. Uh, this is how the mods gonna sound. The, this is a metal keycap, so just mind that. Listen to that enter. The one I'm about to lick. Cheer one 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 cheer one.
Okay. Let me go back and just check. The uh, uh, it's mo GMK Modern Dolls. Just serious question. I'm new to mechanical keyboards and have to explore. I've been looking at keycaps. What makes GMK so expensive? Uh, pretty much premium quality for double shot AVS, thick double shot AVS keycaps and the Cherry Profile um, that has just been highly regarded with uh, very good color um, kind of consistency. And uh, yeah, it's just been people's favorite essentially. And so, I mean, the pricing is just, oh, it's actually cheaper than it used to be, um, but it's expensive because it's basically the, the best quality there is in terms of what's available. Um, doesn't sound like a J1, blah, blah. Still sounds great. Yeah. Obsidian, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Anonymous Cheerer, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Palm good. I like it with the palm plate. I do too. <laughs> Kimchi Jody boy, thank you so much for the 350 bits. Thank you, thank you. Um, I wish there were more palm keycaps, TBH. I do wish there were more palm keycaps that were cherry profile, to be specific. Last of my bits, thank you, thank you so much, uh, Kimchi Jody boy. Uh, wow, red enter sounds so much better than blue enter. Confirmed. Um, did you wash your hands after soldering? Yes, I did. I always wash my hands after soldering. Um, whether it's sanitizer or whether it's just wash going to wash my hands, I always wash my hands after after soldering. Um, are Jim K always cherry profile? Yes, Jim K keycaps are always cherry profile. All right. Fine, 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 fine. I need to get rid of the typing test window. All right. <sighs> okay, here we go. This is uh, a Bauer with GMK Modern Dolch. Okay. The target, me. Gone. Hmm. Not too bad. Not too bad. You can look at the shine. Actually, actually, <laughs> the used keycaps are shining more than the enter itself. <laughs> the enter is pretty new. Man of the people. Man of the people. We can't see it. Oh, it happened. It happened. I, I, I can guarantee you it happened. It was as tasty as... As... I don't even know what it tastes like. It didn't really taste like much, but... Was it worth it, guys? We should have really specified the rules. Coffee flavored cap. <laughs> did, did I really scam you? Did I really scam you? Be honest. Did I scam you or not? Was it not satisfying? Delicious textured ABS. Okay. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Not quite on target is the caption of one. Oh no, I'm gonna have to look at this. Oof, this is this is this is savage. Ah, I I just I just did the I I was just taking that that bit redemption. Okay, fine. 
play back at 0.25 speed? Wait, why? Wait, what? Okay, I don't understand. <laughs> what what happens at 0.25 speed? Tell me when when you're done with the video. Slow lick. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll just do it because people are accusing me. People are accusing me. Okay. Enter my mouth. Okay. Mm. Done. Just gave it the Okay. That's that's that way you can't say I didn't do it. Thank you so much for the hydrate. Ah, uh, what have I done with my life? <sighs> Gotta silence the non-believers. That's right, man of the people. I'm saying, man of the people. Um. Anyway, I'm pretty much done here. Uh, if you guys wanted to hear it one more time, I can try that if you want it. But if not, if you have any questions, let me know in chat. Um. Clip it and ship it. Clips, man. Y'all are working so hard on that on that clip editor. That's crazy. Y'all are y'all are savage. Mocha flavor crydox. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, one more typing test, and we can uh, end it here. It's already midnight. So again, Jim K. Modern Dolch on a Bauer with a uh, Gadron Inks with 63.5 gram springs looped with Crytox 05 grades here with a Pomplet. I mean, I screwed up a few times. And that's it. That's it, my friends. That's all I got for you. If you have any questions, let me know. But otherwise, oh, let's see. Um, have I used the C3 Kiwis? Um, I have not. Uh, I did not buy the Kiwis. 
Uh, mainly because I'm not interested in T1-like switches, specifically like ultra tactile switches that are just not my jam. Have I tasted the Kiwis, not the switches? Thank you for blessing us twice on this Sunday with your glorious streams. Thank you, thank you. Um, uh, speaking of blessing you twice um, on this glorious Sunday, it is possible I will stream tomorrow. Um, I do want to get more builds out of the way. Um, more specifically, I just want to be able to ship out builds to people who've been waiting. Um, and so it's very likely that I will stream again tomorrow if given the chance. Um, so you just follow, uh, you'll see the ping drop most likely. Um, other than that, I'm, I don't have a very specific schedule right now. Uh, it's possible that things might be subject to change just due to my plans for Tuesday for the week, for the work week. And so, yeah, just depending on that, things will change. Um, but other than that, uh, I do want to say thank you, everybody, for, for being here and <laughs> having fun. Um, it was it was a lot of fun, despite uh, Wilba dropping by to to shoot the shit and uh, people being all people being very suggestive. And indeed, thank you so much, Jack Static, and uh, Sensei Ja earlier, Salvin, among other people who were super super kind and uh, donating bits and. Um, just cheering along the stream and donating subs. Um, very kind of y'all. I hope that you guys had fun. Um, and um, yeah, uh, I hope to have more exciting stuff coming soon. Um, I, I do have some personal builds that are in progress um, that I would like to I would like to show you guys. Um, I also have. Um, I might have uh, some new products on the way too, um, as far as new to the community goes. And then, um, what else, what else? Because it is September, it is September to be more specific, um, I did think that maybe I wanted to do a subathon or like a sub-based event. Um, so, Kind of iffy because this month might be a busy one for me but uh, if it's possible i might organize something uh but in order to do so i need to ask people uh, if they're available and all, all those sorts of things but otherwise you'll probably see me either on this stream uh you'll see me on teha types of stream apiary keyboards stream i'm moderator on both of those uh they're close friends of mine i respect them and i i honestly always vouch for their work um, I'm just glad that there's someone always on the forefront uh, doing cool new stuff. So yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, you just suck me dry with Dolch. What else could you possibly take from me? <laughs> sorry about um, sorry about the auto mod uh, thing. Tai Hao types, yeah. Tai Hao types. Tai Hao types. Um. But yes, uh, there definitely might be some new cool things um, coming soon. Uh, I just hope to have them soon. Um, expect photos, again, of course, of this one and of the other one. Um, I think that's all I got. I'll actually change the enter for the blue one for the photos. <laughs> be kind to those people who might have been triggered today. That's the guy who does all the odd effects for all the streamers, right? Yeah, and it doesn't it doesn't beat that Bower Boom effect though. Bower Boom. I love that GIF. I think I believe AIO3 might have made that one, the one with the world exploding. And then someone improved on it, and I couldn't find the link for it. Someone improved it like a lot. Like it was like HD. It had the like you know, like the exploding tsunami, like like when like something explodes in the middle of like Earth and like freaking like ash wave comes in, yeah. Pretty cool. Thanks, invisibility. Hope you're doing well. Uh, but yeah, I think that's um all I got for tonight. 
Let's see if anybody's streaming. I don't think anybody might be. But just in case, let's check. Um... anybody is though. Mr. Horologist, not Ye MK. Um, so not Ye MK, he's a, um, he's a friend, uh, who doesn't stream too often, but, um, occasionally he does, uh, believe he's, uh, rebuilding his Tokyo 60. So let's go and check, uh, let's go and check out what he's up to. Um, he's a nice fellow. Raid, Mr. Not Ye. Damn, sounds still on. Not, uh, just finished work. We are raiding? Yeah, we are raiding. Not Ye. MK. Alright, everybody. It's a wrap. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Um, You might see me again tomorrow. But other than that, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, just please uh, give uh, Not Ye MK a very warm raid message and um hopefully you have fun over there but thank you so much guys um and i'll see you guys next time have a good night